we have right here is Tully McDuff, and right here is Willie Nelson, and they're both going to Newfoundland. This tomorrow. is their last day in Nova Scotia. Their last day. Oh, last day for a Nova Scotia duck pulling retriever to end up there. And oh, and we have Babe. And, yeah, Babe. and this is Babe. How old's Babe? Babe is four. Well, this is the Nova Scotia Legislature, and this, this amazing place is actually Nova Scotia's Legislative Library. In fact, it's the place where Joseph Howe was put on trial many years ago. But these days, it keeps hold of all of the acts that are passed by the legislature and have become the law of the land. And the librarian here has left out for me an act to declare the Nova Scotia duck tolling retriever to be the provincial dog of Nova Scotia. It's a very, very short act, so I'm going to read it in its entirety to you. It received royal assent, thus it became law, on May 19, 1995, and it says, be it enacted by the governor and assembly as follows. Short title, this act may be cited as the Provincial Dog Act provincial dog. The Nova Scotia duck tolling retriever is declared to be the provincial dog of the province. That's it. That is the entire act which makes that dog Nova Scotia's official dog. If you're going to do a TV series about dogs and you're based in Nova Scotia, Canada, then you almost have to start with a question. Does Nova Scotia have an official dog? The answer to that question is yes. And of course, those few lines of text found in a book of legislation in a famous old library in downtown Halifax report the dog as being the Nova Scotia duck tolling retriever. It's a little more complicated than that because the Nova Scotia duck tolling retriever was not always called the Nova Scotia duck tolling retriever. Which leads to the second question, what was it called? That answer is found on the southwest end of Nova Scotia. Well, I'm about three and a half hours outside of Halifax with my new friend Ducker in Little River. And this is the home of the Little River duck dog. So I think a lot of people would be surprised to know that um, Nova Scotia duck tolling retrievers were not always called duck tolling retrievers. Right, yes, they were always known as the Little River Duck Dog. Yeah. So, do you know how that name changed? Well, they, they wanted to make it um, more legitimate, I, I believe, and so it went from Little River Duck Dog to the Nova Scotia Duck Tolling Retriever because it's originally from Nova Scotia and um, they wanted to put that in there so that it was, it was known worldwide where it was from, Nova Scotia. Not just Nova Scotia, but Little River, Nova Scotia. Now, if you take a look at a map, you'll find it down here near Yarmouth. Now, tollers have appeared in stories about Southwest Nova Scotia since the 1700s, but it wasn't until 1945 that the breed was officially recognized by the Canadian Kennel Club. The family most closely associated with the modern Little River Duck Dog is still breeding them today in the Yarmouth area. My father, uh, he bred Little Rivers my entire life. He, he always had them. Uh, he started breeding in 1969, and I, I've just always had them in my house, and Dad was breeding, so I, I am carrying on his legacy. A hundred years ago, the toller started. Yeah, almost a hundred yeah. years. He got his first dog from Avery Nickerson. Harbor Lights Kennel. Which was Harbor Lights Kennel, and, um, and that was in 69, and then he started, and um, it was a, a different kind of a coat. It was a shorter, kind of sleek, redder, a little redder, darker nose, and then um, just kind of evolved. Evolved. As the standard was being. You know. Yeah, and uh, so it became a little bit more fluffy, uh, more white, more pink. <laughs> Back up, Jenna. Oh, yeah. 
This is red. Yeah, she's. Oh, she gets excited. Oh, yeah, I'm staring. Aren't you? Look at your pink nose. That's the pink nose you were talking about. Yeah. And so he was really involved in developing the, the yes. standard that we know of yes. today. Yes. For yeah. the... Like the ears and um, the tip, on the white tip. Because the fox, it's, it's supposed to be like a fox, right? Running up and down the shore. Okay. And that the little whip of the tail is what the dogs are lured in by, right? So that the, the, the little whip and the ducks are like, what is that, what is that? And so uh, it's like the same as a, uh, the, they would be interested in what, what is that fox doing? And so then the, the, the ducks all come in and so that's, that's where that white tail is, has come from. And this is the oldest kennel in Canada, isn't it? Yeah, yes it is. For duck bowlers. Yes. So, how does that make you feel? Oh, I, I'm very proud to, like, like I say, carry on my father's legacy. It's a, it's a, uh, a passion that's been uh, in my family, and um, and uh, Deanna will be third generation breeder, won't you? Yeah. So, yes. Like this has been a whole family thing. Yes. Yeah, so my uncle Doug, which would be my mother's brother, um, also started breeding in '69 as well. And they so my they work independently from each other, but they're still partners. Both Little River Kennels, and his kennel was up in Canning, and he and he's recently retired and and signed off to me. Oh wow! Yeah. So this is a big legacy that. Yes. You have. Yeah, I got big shoes to fill for sure. You didn't have to do this. No, no, I, I it was just in always. In fact, you kind of, moved away. Yes, I, I've tr I've done quite a bit of traveling in my life, but I. Uh, it was time to settle down. Dad moved back here, and I, I wanted to come help him with the kennel, and and it's uh, it's it's been my passion since. And you've just recently taken this over yeah. Yeah. officially, I guess. Yeah, all the the paperwork's been signed, and just waiting, waiting to get the official document back from the CKC. So I think a lot of people are going to wonder, what does the word toller mean? It means that they toll. It's a, it's a word that describes that they're just marching along the shoreline and the ducks are watching them. And Dr. Seuss said it best. Your talent is a wondrous thing, unique in all the land. There you go. When I first came to Nova Scotia, I, uh, with my dog that had never been to Nova Scotia, I was living in Elliott Lake at the time, had family vacation in Nova Scotia, brought my, my toller. We went for a walk to the ocean. Dog had never seen the ocean. My dog started running up and down the shore. All of a sudden, all these ducks started coming in. Hmm. And that's when my dog, my dad would have went bang, bang, bang. Dog would have ran and got all the ducks, put them in a pile, and that's tolling. Okay. Because I think it's, a, it's one of those words we're just not familiar with. I mean, we, when we think of it, we think of the dog. We yeah. don't even yeah. think what it means. Did you know what it meant? I didn't either. It's okay. <laughs> the reality is, until the 1980s, if you didn't live on Nova Scotia's Yarmouth Shore, well, there's a good chance you would never even have heard of a toller, let alone a Little River Duck Dog. But in 1980, Nova Scotia duck tolling retrievers took best in show at Canadian Kennel Club events in Saskatchewan and British Columbia. Are you noticing an increase in popularity in duck tolling? Oh, it's, uh, I get two, three messages a day asking, uh, you know, are you, are you have any puppies? Do you have any puppies? I'm like, stay tuned to my page. You know, uh, I'll update on my page. Stay tuned to my page. So there's... Uh, Always, always a want. I uh, helped my dad, my uncle Doug, um, sell his last litter recently. Uh, I had 30 messages within an hour. Wow. I posted the pictures of the puppies. Within an hour, I had 30 people, and I had to take the ad down because I just had many. swamped. Like that fast, I had them all sold. 
it's bang. Yeah. Uh, usually when I get an email from somebody, you can tell right off if that is worth pursuing on your list. Some people will say, you got any puppies? Or when you're gonna have puppies, you just ignore those. Somebody will say, how much are your puppies? I'd ignore those too. The, one, the ones I get that I really look at is they, they write to me and they tell me basically their life story. And a lot of those people have just lost a dog from Little River Kennels. Oh, wow. So my last litter that just, well, these two are siblings. They all went to people that have lost their dog and actually these two also. So, and they send me pictures and, and everything. So there's a, people know the line and they yes. come back. Yeah. And, and that, the line must be, so I mean, you're breeding from that line, you're yeah. breeding from that line, but there can't be too many people breeding from that original. No, uh, like dad would sell, like there's, dad had four different types of dogs he would sell. He would sell a pet, he would sell a hunting dog, he would sell a show dog, and then he would sell a breeder. Uh, breeders uh, came with lots of stipulations and guarantees and um, and so there wasn't very many people that were going to buy a breeder so they are you know um, limited and um, and not I think there's only four kennels in total in Nova Scotia there's 12 in BC. There's more tollers in Europe than there is in all of Canada. That's amazing. Yeah. Now at some point all of those tollers would have come from the Little River Kennel yeah. line, yeah. even the ones in Europe. Yes. Yeah. How does yeah. that make you feel? It's incredible. I, uh, I, I get messages and I'm, I'm friends with um, people from Austria uh, that have come and actually gave me this toller necklace. Oh, that's beautiful. And she uh, bar gave one to Barb too. Um, and we're, we're friends and they, they're breeders there and they, uh, they show their dogs and we're close with them. It, it becomes like a close little toller family uh, and we stay connected. And I have a, a friend in Australia that dad sold a dog to in Australia that uh, I'm, I'm still friends with, Zoe McDonald, and, um, and she, she breeds over there. And it's, it's, a, it's, it's a really great feeling to know that this line is continuing and, um, and uh, Deanna will carry on after me, right? Mm -hmm. Gonna make grandpa proud? Yeah. yeah. How does it make you feel to think about your daughter taking this over one day? Oh, yeah, very proud. She she loves it and she's she's looking forward to it and she she's always been around helping with the puppies and the dogs and has always wanted to help. Hey, very helpful. My one-year-old Red, I named after my dad's first toller. Uh, his name was Red. And um, it was a, my, a dog that my dad had talked about growing up my whole life. He, he adored this dog. It was a great dog. And uh, to, um, I just wanted to uh, name him Red from, from, uh, after his favorite dog. Wow. Yeah. And you had a, a rock there. Yes. Uh, this is a painting I had. Um, done for my dad uh, for Father's Day and this is Red back in 1969 and uh, two of his other dogs. Oh wow. Yeah. That's beautiful. Thank you. From a beach rock from, from Yarmouth. So they are one week old? <laughs> eight days. They're eight days old. Um, they grow fast then. Mom's like, nope, enough of that. <laughs> well.
And you can see like that one has white on its back. Yep. Now that would be considered a mismark. Okay. So that you couldn't really show that dog. Yeah. But that dog will still hunt. That dog will still be a great still a family dog. dog. You're right. And you're not really breeding them for the purpose of confirmation. Not at all. Like no. Just to the standard and good pets. Let's go get in there and see the babies. Go see them. Get in there. When do they open their eyes? About 14 days. So still another week or so? Yeah, another week or so. And then they start stumbling around. You're trying to figure out where Mama is, aren't you? <laughs> I do not smell like Mama, but... Now listen, every dog is a mix of other breeds. Right back to the wolf. And I'm going to explore that issue later this season. But what's important now is that the Nova Scotia Duck Tolling Retriever, or Little River Duck Dog, is originally a mix of mostly spaniels, farm collies, and retrievers. That's no surprise, right? I remember Ducker, who joined me out at the Little River Duck Dog sign at the start of this journey? Well, he lives with Barbara. And Barbara was mentored by Jana's father, Jim, and is now, in return, mentoring Jana. Barbara has a mission of her own. She's trying to rebuild the original Little River Duck Dog lines. And Ducker is part of that. Ducker, who we met, yeah. has a longer name. Little River Stock Dynasty. And I, uh, when Doug retired for the first time in 2016, Jim said, Barb, why don't you buy Doug's dogs? He wants to retire. <laughs> Next thing I knew, I had nine dogs. <laughs> and I didn't have a kennel ready. So Jim, Jim and, and Jan and Deanna, they, they housed some of them. I put a few others in homes until I could get my kennel built. And then they all came down. Yeah, and he's the last dog from that, from, from Doug's okay. that I had. Yeah, and he's the last Little River male stud dog until Jana has one someday. Yeah. And, uh, Little River Duck Dynasty, that's a pretty fitting name. It is, yep. In this area where they were all started from, there are some old bloodlines that were never recognized by the CKC. They were never, they just stayed Little River Duck Dogs. And I've been working on a project with the Canadian Kennel Club. I got their permission. And I'm, I've got a, a dog from Andy Wallace's line and one from the Eddie Babin line. And I've tested them with their genetic testing. And Dad asked, was trying to get yeah. him to do, to Andy, Andy to, uh, Register, register his, dog. his dogs with CKC, but he wouldn't. Like he was just like you know this backyard breeder, and that's all he wanted to do. But back in the 70s, but now yeah. I'm trying to bring those dogs back in. So I've I've got all their their testing done, and I've sent it into the Canadian Kennel Club, and they're going to uh, review it, and hopefully they'll register those dogs, give a little bit more of a, a little bit more to the Toller gene pool. Do you envision Deacon being? A breeding dog? Or? Yes, yeah. if all goes well. It depends on how he develops, and you can't really tell anything by now, right now, but... How long does it take? Eight weeks, you start to see. Yeah. And all his genetic testing's fine, as his parents are, but I'll still do them. And then he'll need his, his hips x-rayed and his elbows x-rayed and all his exams. Yeah. And if all checks out, he'll be our next boy. Yeah. Scotia Pride's Little River Deacon. How hard was it to realize that there's some of those dogs out there that aren't just a mixed breed dog, for example, and that, oh, those are some of the original line? Yes. Well, Andy, for example, he, he always kept a dog from each of his breedings, for at least from the 70s, all the way through. And uh, I've got uh, the Armstrong line, that's another line. I'm looking for a male there, and uh, just last week, uh, a guy from Boston came over, and he was the grandson of uh, Dick and Ralph Kroll. Dick Kroll was his great grand, was his great grandfather, and Ralph was his uncle. And he was original, one of the original breeders as yeah, well. From back in the 50s. So. so this is really about 
protecting the heritage that's of this as is much as it is about the breed. That's what it, it is yeah, to me. Exactly. It's the Yarmouth dog. Yeah. And at one time it was called the Yarmouth Toller. Yeah. So, do you wish it was better recognized than your mouth? Definitely. <laughs> it, it totally needs. We need a big statue of the dog when you get off the ferry. There's the like they have the horse. Well, we should. We need a dog, a toller down at the ferry. We're gonna try and contact Lunenburg uh, Foundry there and get them to do us up a up a nice statue of a toller. Yes, we need that. Yeah. When I went to Newfoundland for my son's wedding, when you got off off the plane, you're like, there's Newfoundland dogs, bronze statues, life-size of Newfoundland dog in a lab, and I'm thinking, we should do this here, but I don't know, I think the, the province has missed a great opportunity for tourism, mm. and I think they need to relook at part of the Nova Scotia heritage. I agree. Dog. Jana gave me this book by Gail McMillan, and it's all about tollers. Did you know that in the 1960s, they were featured by Ripley's Believe It or Not, the book is all about those original champions of the toller. And on page 77, well, there's James Jeffrey, Jim, Jana's father, and the story of his campaign to see the toller become Canada's dog, not just Nova Scotia's. These days, there's a lot of stuff that features tollers, and I'm going to chase that down later. And in the meantime, I guess I got some reading to do. These dogs are Little River dogs to you, aren't they? Yes. I mean, you still, yeah. the original name is yes. the name for you, isn't it? I still yeah. say Little River. And yeah. Anybody says, what kind of dogs are those? All I say is Little River. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, you know, the, if you want to get like technical, like people will say, you know, you, you go and you explain the big long word, but everybody knows the Little River around here as, and just uh, has that and a Little River. Which I think would surprise people who are not from the Yarmouth area. Yeah. You know, you're in Halifax, too. I don't know what the little yeah. river dog is. They, they, yeah, what kind of dog is that? I've never seen one of those. And then we have to explain. It's the Nova Scotia Duck Tolling Retriever, otherwise known as the Little River Duck Dog. <laughs> or Toller. Yes, or Toller, yes, that's right. And, and they're not little miniature golden retrievers. No, they are. No, they are not. And I'm so very thankful that Jana is able to carry on her father's kennel because we're yeah, I mean you to can lose see, that. and you can see it means a lot to her. It as well. does, yes. Yeah. It's um, and then to have her daughter do the same. Yes. Quite the legacy. Yes. Yeah. Jim was pretty proud of his work. He, yeah. They were his his life, the dogs. That was my uncle. He's the other my father's partner, and this is who my that's my parents and my sister. But this was my Uncle Doug's. There's that rock again. Oh, there's a rock again. And, and this is red. It's red. What's your favorite breed of dog? Little, little River Duck Dog. They're pretty cool, aren't they? Yeah.